morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. And every day after that. Yes. Today's special. Yes, we were invited by the Children's Museum at Navy Pier to come out and enjoy their space. Yes. They're settling 40 years. 40 years. Wow. I know it hasn't always been at Navy Pier, but I think I came when I was like really tiny. I remember like water play tables. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna check it out. Jamesy's loving it so far. There's so much. So I didn't realize there was multiple floors here at Navy Pier, so very cool. Like Animal Kingdom, but better. Teddy is working on a nap and waving. <laughs> so hopefully he'll take a little snooze. So in 1982, the Children's Museum was created and it was actually at the Chicago Cultural Center. Which is funny, we showed that the other night on our way to Michigan Avenue on Washington. And it was built in response to the cutting of different programs for children in schools in Chicago. And then it moved to a bigger space in Lincoln Park and then obviously grew and grew and grew and is now at Navy Pier. Um, and it's so great. Like I, you know, it's one of those things where you're here and you're like, how have we not spent more time here or known about this? Obviously our children are very young. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna tell, all the kids in our life about about this it's so so lovely I'm like again like genuinely taken back by all the exhibits and everything that they're offering oh yeah tell us more about the children's museum tell us tell us all right we're in a kitchen we're organizing our groceries on the floor it's very sanitary sanitary Maybe we'll make a pizza. Uh oh. James, you you wanna make a pizza? There you go. We got a lot of groceries for the Christmas dinner, huh? Yeah. We have a big Christmas dinner. Yeah. Get your lemons and your roast. I know. Don't forget your sausage. James brought his groceries to the table. Oh no, we're on the move. <laughs> a little early, a little young, but we're gonna play some chess, like Bandit would say, right? But we're gonna play like Bluey and Bingo. This is what I remember. So they must be redoing it and it's like just the way like water works through all sorts of gadgets and gizmos. But that is really beautiful. So cool. So that is early 2023. So they have all of these play spaces and workshops and there's different sessions, which is nice to kind of, you know, manage the crowd. And you take one of these little passes and then once they're out, they're out and then you just come back at your time. So we're gonna have to figure out what we wanna do. This is so cool, a little photo booth. And it's $2, six poses for $2.
And here they have little stations for you to build. So computers are temporarily closed, but still nice to have your own like separate spot with all the tools you could ask for. Put it in. Do you love this? Yeah. Do you want to make your own? <laughs> um, well, this is beautiful. So beautiful. Teddy's taking a nice long nap. Something very helpful about being here with James at the age he is, um, is that he gets to hang out with other little kids and learn to share because it's something he really needs to work on being um, a big kid by himself at this age. I mean, he sees his cousins, but that's more of a controlled situation. He doesn't go to daycare right now to learn those social skills, so we're easing in, right? Well, this is cool. This stuff it looks like it's for older kids. This is the tinkering lab. It's closed right now, but there's like hot glue guns and cool things and a great view. And look, there's even an outdoor balcony out the front of Navy Pier. It's like famous view right there. I can't believe there's an outdoor patio. I never realized that. We're playing with in the tinkering area, making little ramps. And it's almost time for our like playroom appointment for the little little kids. And I like there's like some educational aspects to this, but like very intrinsic one. Like here's Story Hub. Apparently you take a video, almost like a vlog, talking about what you did in, in the different areas. Gets kids to like reflect. Having fun? Oh. Look at this big kid sitting. <laughs> Jamesy, where'd you go? Teddy. After the play zone, we're back to constructing. Put the cool and the snow has started. What's cool is they have dedicated spots for you to snack, and then the exhibits can be free from food. <gasps> wow! Um, who is this big kid figuring out how to climb this up by himself? We're gonna head out, but then we, we forgot that we can't. We need to come to the castle room. So we're in the castle room. There's like dress up pieces and everything. Is that all enclosed up there? Or am I gonna worry about you falling? They have this like, it's like a little grocery shopping situation. I had no idea that this was so cool. This castle, dress up, kitchen, crystal ball. You can climb under, over, whole table. We got Christmas vibes at Harry Carey's. Surprise, we're gonna do a quick lunch. 
and Harry Carries. Thank you so much to the Children's mm -hmm. Museum for having yeah. us. That was We have to come amazing. back with so Christina and her family. Yeah. See Harry Carey? Look at all these people. John Favreau. John Mayer. Excuse me. He's seven months old today. More like 17 years old today. Wow, we're seated right next to the Bartman Ball. The actual Bartman Ball. Oh my gosh, we got the fried pickles. And they have a Donald Christmas special that James loves on. So that's pretty awesome. Have you taken a bite? No, I'm cutting some Uncle James. Those are pretty good. They're pretty salty. They were average. Sarah and I are like... Whenever we go to a place that has fried pickles, we have to get the fried pickles. We so prefer we've had spears. Of fried pickles in our lives, and that was just. It was like I love fried pickles no matter what, so I enjoyed it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. Peter got the Goose Island Christmas IPA. Look at this design. Cute. Right here is my jalapeno burger. It looks oh so divinity. Not touching that fried jalapeno. I got poutine. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is the one thing at the Chris Kino market that I didn't get that I wanted. So I'm happy. Alrighty, we are headed out. I'm not gonna do a full montage of the museum here, but I'll show a couple of our favorite things. So here are some Star Trek items. Pretty cool. We've got to show the Bartman ball. They destroyed the, the ball, the foul ball that kept the, the Cubs from the World Series. What year was that? 2003. And then what is this check? $113,000? Wow, maybe that's how much it cost to buy that? Here is an H tile from the Wrigley Marquee. That's really cool. Here is a uniform from the American Girls Baseball League team, the Kenosha Comets. This is a Ghostbusters costume. It's a cool World Series, Chicago Tribune. We have, we have maybe three of those in our possession. And then here is Wilson from Castaway. Wilson. So we are headed home now. The snowing has begun. And as much as we want to stay and play the rest of the day, it's nap time and we're gonna be safe and get home. Um, before, yeah, before it becomes, you know, troublesome to drive. All right. Wow, it's snowing. I'm gonna open up the sunroof so James and you can see it. Whoa. That is some snow. That's and it's some little snow. flakes. Little flakes. Like big snow. Yep. A little flake, big snow, big flake, small snow. All right, time to go home. Bunk. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> Guess if these children napped. They did not. You want to come up here too? The snow has arrived. It's not terrible. It's only been a few hours. I think we're only supposed to get like five inches in total. We'll see. I'm walking over to Jewel. We need some candy for our gingerbread house. We find the candy that came with the kit non-satisfactory. So we're taking matters in our own hands. We're getting extra candy and maybe hot cocoa. We're watching Christmas Disney Parks parades. <laughs> and the other night at the Chris Kindle Market, I got Christmas, was it just like Christmas soda? I don't even know what flavor it is, but I think I forgot to put it in the fridge. So I'm gonna have to go get some ice, but I think I'm gonna have that ready when Peter gets home. Cause he's getting extra candy to decorate the gingerbread house. Yay, yay, yay! And he's officially on his holiday weekend. I 
everyone's like in good spirits after not taking naps, but like energy is high. And it's kind of like that like suspicious energy, you know? He keeps running away like I'm chasing him. I'm screaming like I'm chasing him. I'm not chasing him, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bottle and it is dark. It kind of has like beer vibes to it. Okay, it's gingerbread time. We're watching the original Grinch. He got stuck only once for a minute or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue with a little blue stocking. He's more interested in eating. In a row. <gasps> These stockings he glitched are the first things to go. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room and he took every present. I am my three! What's the stress level, Dad? About a seven. <laughs> We're in the holding, holding moments. Holding moments, babies napping, dogs barking, other baby wants to, oh, nice. He's just learning patience. Hope this isn't a spoiler, but the Grinch's heart did grow two sides. We've got the art student in here. He didn't go to culinary school. In the, in the fine, fine arts angle, symmetry, asymmetry. Uh oh, there's a lion on the loose. Uh oh, the lion's gonna eat the whole dinner by the house. We're all about normalizing everyday life here. Um, this is what we've been working with on our dining room table. There's no reason why it's this messy. And this needs to become my wrapping station. So. Right now, I'm gonna organize everything, get out what I need to wrap for this weekend, and then hopefully feel so much better about this chaotic space that I need to like, I need to be a peaceful place. Alrighty, space is clean. Got all my wrapping supplies over here, cards over there. I want a lot of space to be able to get the wrapping paper going. I don't know if, I'm gonna wrap tonight, but it's nice just to know this is getting into gear. The only gift I think you've been able to see is that Venom for Luca, and I don't think he'll watch this vlog. But I already feel better, and I realized I don't have tape. It's one of those days where all of a sudden you blink and it's seven o'clock, so heating up leftovers for dinner, and it is three degrees outside. So it is, what? It's that guy from the chef's table, season five. Pizza. Oh, I don't remember. Ah. I've only like watched that like kind of in the background. Anyway, I think that's the thing I'm most like afraid about with this storm is the cold and how cold our apartment's gonna get because we have, um, what's it called? What's our Steam. heat called? Steam heat with radiators. But they have been working all night. The only thing I feel like cold is my feet because I feel like the ground is cold. Um, but that's, that's not so bad. Honestly, I, I could not tell the difference like with it being three degrees, but it is going to get colder. What's the coldest it's going to be here? Negative five without wind chill. Negative five without wind chill. not where I thought I was going to be at 2.30 in the morning. We get home first. We get home safe first, and then I'll explain what happened. I don't know if Sarah did, but uh, Edie got into some snacks that she really shouldn't have. But she's gonna be okay. You are not gonna believe this. Three in the morning. Three in the morning, and it's lit. Are you kidding me? And I made it home safe. To make a long story short. When I was putting James down to bed, Sarah was putting Teddy to bed. I came out after putting James to bed and I discovered that Eve broke into an entire bag of Hershey Kiss. 
and ate about 50 of them. So for a dog her size, just being about 12 pounds for that much chocolate, that is uh, what you would call a lethal dose. So I brought her to in a 24 hour emergency room veterinarian in uh, the north side of Chicago here. And then they like helped her, they induced vomiting, they gave her active charcoal, but because of how much it was, they're like, we, she needs to be admitted and monitored. And unfortunately they were at full capacity. And then the other two places in Chicago were at capacity. So I drove all the way to Oak Forest, which is in the far south side, um, an hour in this negative 10 crazy conditioned weather to bring Evie to there to get admitted, to get a uh, watch for the next 12 to 24 hours. So she's out in the suburbs. It's 3.16 in the morning. I made it home. I talked to the doctor. Both doctors think like it's going to be positive and going to be good for you, but they just need to make sure because the... Uh, the poisonous part of the chocolate for dogs can give them like heart failure, can give them liver failure. So um, they're past the point of thinking that like she'd have seizures. Um, they just need to make sure, monitor her blood pressure and her heart rate to make sure it doesn't like spike and stuff. So um, we'll be thinking of our little Evie girl, but I'm home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.